This week in movies, we are talking about the next flick from the writer and director of Napoleon Dynamite. Um, so we're this talking about so Gentleman Broncos. So yes, we, we know uh, the, the, the writing team of Jared and his wife Jerusha Hess uh, from Napoleon Dynamite and Nacho Libre. Um, oh, huge, they did Michael White huge also. movies. Michael White co wrote with them on Nacho Libre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, huge movies. And now here we are with his next film getting a limited release. Uh, we checked it out a couple weeks ago. Mm. And uh, so basically, the movie follows. Um, Michael Aaron, Aaron Jano, Aaron Gano, uh, I don't really know his name. Uh, we, we talked about him in Forbidden Kingdom early this year. He's in That's Lords perfect. of Dogtown. And, um, was and, he the one from Sky High or is that the other Yes, guy? and he's in Sky High as well. Uh, Michael Angarano. Thank you, sir. Um, and, uh, and he is a young, aspiring, geeky science fiction author. And he goes away... Uh, to a weekend writers retreat camp. writers thing where he gets to meet and be taught by his all-time favorite sci-fi. This is like pulp sci-fi writer. So it's the world. The movie opens on a lot of... The back writer. The, the, the movie opens on these covers uh, from science fiction novels that you would just know these covers. You know, it's very, very uh, John Carter of Mars or Flash Gordon or when you're walking through the sci-fi section and you're seeing books not by Philip K. Dick or uh, Terry Brooks, right? But yeah, these they do other guys. Paperbacks. Yeah, paperbacks. paperbacks. That's good. Um, so his favorite author, Ronald Chevalier, played by uh, Jermaine Clement from uh, Flight of the Concords. Uh, and we see this... Um, this author's uh, world is, is trying to write a new novel and this kid trying to write his own uh, work. And uh, when we see this work played uh, out uh, by Sam Rockwell uh, in reenactments of moments mm. from this story. Um, very quirky, very much in the wheelhouse of Jared Hess. Mm. Jeff? Yes. Uh, you are a sci-fi book reading mofo. I am. Uh, a fan of Napoleon and Nacho? Very much. Both of them? Actually, I never saw Nacho, strangely enough. I never got around to it. Interesting. But I love Napoleon Diamond, and I, I saw it before it had sort of generated all that momentum and right? fell in love with it and felt like, oh, it's this little movie that I get to keep just for me, and then it became this huge phenomenon. Right. Um, and, and I love this movie. Uh, I... I love the, <clears throat> the way these filmmakers populate their world with such wonderful misfits. It, 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 they have such a unique worldview and, and such wonderful creations of, of these flawed characters, these, these idiosyncratic, interesting characters you don't find in any other kind of movie. Uh, and, and they do such a great job of... of creating the unexpected and taking you on a journey that is very, very funny. I laughed my butt off in this movie, but also not the predictable A, B, C uh, of a lot of the comedies we've been talking about this year. Um, the, the way this story is wrapped up, the way this story is fulfilled, I didn't see coming and it felt very satisfying. Jermaine Clement, who I'm a huge fan of, is hilarious in this movie. He creates one of those characters that's gonna be around forever, kind of like Napoleon Dynamite, that people are gonna quote and laugh about just thinking about it rather than watching the movie. It, it, I thoroughly enjoyed the experience of watching this movie. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I actually didn't like Nacho. I was sort of a little disappointed, but I thought, you know, I, I sort of thought, well, this is, you know, you get your big budget, you get your star actors, and maybe they kind of falter a bit. Um, but I feel like in this movie, it really kind of felt like the the vibe of Napoleon, but was it had your Sam Rockwells and Jermaine Clement. Yeah, he's not a huge guy, but he's bigger than anybody that was in Napoleon Dynamite before they were in Napoleon Dynamite. Right. Um, so, I, I, yeah, I loved it. I thought it was hysterical. I thought it was one of those movies that I am constantly quoting. Uh, Sam Rockwell is one of, if not my favorite actor of ever. Uh, that guy's amazing. I mean, ever since Galaxy Quest, when he first popped on my radar, and I went, that guy's a freaking comic genius, and then just 
all through the, his whole career. Safe men, baby. Crazy stuff, yeah. Safe men. Um, even Charlie's Angels, I might say, was a pretty good uh, showing <laughs> for him. But um, <clears throat> anyway, so, yeah, I loved it. I didn't actually expect to like it. I, I thought that there were going to be moments that were going to be funny, but that overall I was going to be disappointed, um, sort of like with Nacho Libre, but I think it, it held up better than I thought, yeah. Um, and Jermaine, I mean, Chevalier is um, unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm, I'm very similar to you coming into this movie in that I loved Napoleon Dynamite. also sort of um, uh, saw it be before it got the, the mainstream buzz, but uh, I was really disappointed in Nacho yeah. Libre. Um, and that made me really uh, wary, wary of, of this movie. And, and this ended up being, for me, a lot like Nacho Libre. Hmm. Um, and, but, but the premise of this is, like, I thought I was going to eat up this premise. I thought it was genius and genius in the hands of this um, director. But, uh, but, you know, I just, for me, the, the, the awkward humor... Um, was just awkward to me and not funny. Like those, uh, those. The, the, what's funny is these awkward silences between people or awkward moments. And I, I, that just doesn't tickle my funny bone. It just actually is awkward. Awkward. But uh, but also, I always wish that like there's a lot of things that are really odd. And I, I and you know, you guys probably thought were really funny. But um, but beyond, I wish that. Even if I didn't think it was funny, I would still think it's clever or smart. But it was mm. just like like uh, his he's riding a deer, you know. Mm -hmm. Like right, I right, wish right. it. So it's so cool if I don't think that's funny, but I can get something else out of it. Yeah, you know it. what I mean? Like if it worked it on another a, level, but it, it really just a non is just yes. Yeah. And there's a lot of those. Yeah, yeah. well, which, especially and Napoleon in the... are funny uh, for me, but in these other two movies, you didn't. Know, you, you mentioned uh, when you pitched to me uh -huh. uh, my love for science fiction writing and genre writing of all kinds, and, and I neglected to mention, I think they nail the, the bad writer personality <laughs> yeah. extremely well. The yeah. way he, when he's reading his own stuff, the way he writes specifically is so that overwrought, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he'll use uh, words instead of said, you know, uh, Elmore Leonard is famous for, for saying there's no other, you never need to use a word other than said when someone talks. Mm. And, you know, he'll, he'll like, mm. they... Pontificate. Yeah, them. or yeah. they, like, you know, even worse than that. And I can't remember any specific ones from the movie, but yeah. It, yeah. I think they nailed that so very well. And yeah. I, I, yeah, I enjoyed it. I like it. 